Hi guys, Hounds Armor here, and today we're looking at a new loadout. So after my last loadout video covering second line gear, I thought I should give you guys some other examples. Um, if you haven't seen the video on my primary for this loadout, this is my pump action Magnum Super Drum. I'll put a link to that video in the card and probably in the description. Go check it out. This was a really fun project, and today we've got a setup to support it. So, of course, this is a 40 round pump action ugh, Springer. Um, it does have slam fire, and the drum is removable, though that's a little cumbersome. So, that's not how my load up will set up. Let me drop this for a second. So, this is a belt based loadout that is very light and very simple and I do think it holds the same kind of things as my heavy HVZ loadout in a much smaller package with a very different role. I call this my scavenger loadout because it's based around this large dump pouch being my source of ammunition because I don't have magazines to deal with in my primary or my sidearm. So all I need is loose darts. And if there's darts on the floor, pick them up, toss them in here, and it uh, refills my ammo supplies without having to take the time to reload magazines or anything like that. So let's just go over the belt real quick. Uh, let's go right around and see what we got. I'm wearing this tactical cummerbund looking belt. Uh, it's a decent, kind of lightweight utility belt with a molly uh, cummerbund thing around it. Um, on my right I have my, come on, my multi-tool for repairs and things like that. Um, I have this smaller dump pouch here where I can put things like my uh, little first aid kit, I can put phone, wallet, keys, and a water bottle as well as some snacks or something else on the little side pockets here. I also have this drop leg molly panel here that's got a sweet revenge in this holster as well as a flashlight. Which I don't think I've touched on flashlights much yet but I think they're very helpful to have one for night games of course and if, if you're playing at night a red light flashlight is very important. Uh, this is a flashlight I've turned into a red light flashlight, um, which if I can find a good video on how to do that, I'll link it in the description. Um, that is, of course, my sidearm, which if you want to know more about my requirements for a sidearm, I'll put my how to pick a sidearm video in the places. The only other thing on my belt here is this dump pouch which is this very nice large one from out of darts' shop. And, well, that's the sled out. Of course, I've got my hat to keep the sun away and my gloves to protect my hands a little, as well as, you know, clothes and a good pair of boots. And that's the whole loadout. This is a very simple, lightweight loadout that is great for pickup games. And uh, there's a couple things about it. Um, the best part is, well, my primary is light. And I am missing a sling, and I do like having my primary slung so I can drop them and retain them to switch to my sidearm or to mess with a MacGuffin or whatever, help pick someone up a trip. Um, but this is a really nice light um, primary. Uh, and I have made a change since the video on this. I have put the uh, angled foregrip for my caliber on here. I'm still trying to find the best priming situation where you get less flex in the bars and I think something that's more in line with the barrel helps with that. So I've thrown that on there which for me is more comfortable anyway. The other great thing about this loadout is that it can scale. I can drop the water bottle um, if we're playing uh, short rounds, the only time I would drop water. I can carry MacGuffins, extra ammo type, something like that um, in this pouch here and not clutter this pouch. 
as well as um, using that pouch for extra ammunition. Um, there's a couple variations on this loadout that I want to go through and so let's start with the first and easiest one. So this is a different loadout. Believe me it's a different loadout. Uh, of course the Magnum Super Drum doesn't have dart posts in it or an air restrictor so it's very very forgiving at what darts you use. I've changed one thing since we just did that jump cut. Changed my sidearm. This is my MHP Magpie. Um, hopefully there'll be a video out on it soon. It's been giving me some troubles. The important thing is it takes half darts. Now if you remember back to my make, uh, choosing a sidearm video, I said it was necessary for your primary and your sidearm to use the same ammo type. Well, the Super Drum can take half darts like nobody's business with no complaints. So you can increase your ammo capacity by changing your sidearm to use half darts and a hammer shot or sweet revenge will work. I just thought this was a more drastic example. Um, and have your, each piece of ammunition take up less um, space in your, dart pouch, in your dump pouch because you're using less ammo. Now, that's the ammo change. What about a game change? So, another simple change to this loadout, I threw on a backpack. Um, this is how I would run this loadout if I was doing a HVZ, especially a long-winded one with multiple hour uh, long missions like End War. The basic setup and theory behind the uh, loadout is the same. I have my primary, uh, my sidearm with matching ammo type, and my dump pouch for ammo, as well as the same stuff on the belt, but I now have extra storage for extra darts, magazines for my friends who like them, uh, MacGuffins, notes, whatever, phone wallet keys in the backpack, as well as having a camelback. This is a camelback day pack I got years ago for a, a bikepacking uh, camping trip, and I think it works great. It's small, it's light, it's got some spacers to keep it off my back, um, and I think it works really well as an add on to this loadout. So, that's the change I would make for HVZ. Um, and I've got one more change that uh, gonna take me a second to change into. And this is the final version for today of the scavenger loadout. And the short fight among you might realize that this is my normal first line gear. This is my normal setup that I run with my uh, chest rig us usually for my big magazine based HVZ loadout. And the great thing I love about this is, well, I have my primary, a sidearm, and a dump pouch, which are the important things for this kind of loadout, on my normal belt setup. So if I want to run something like this out of war, I just drop the vest, lose some weight, pick up a different primary, and it works just great. This is a kind of loadout I like to always be able to revert to because it's very easy to play with and very fun to play with. Um, so that's my recommendations for a scavenger loadout. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked that video. And if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions for future videos, leave them down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoy making content for you guys. Hope to see you guys next time. Thank you.